Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about finishing wood, specifically the darker colored woods. Woods like walnut and cherry and alder and some of the other woods that have darker tones generally don't need any type of special stains or anything to bring out the natural beauty of the wood. But there are some things that you can do to the wood to make that natural beauty of the wood come out and shine. And one of those is the application of oils. Uh, there's lots of different oils out there that you can use. There's boiled linseed oil, there's walnut oil, tongue oil, and what these products do is they penetrate into the grain of the wood to bring out its natural beauty. One of the downsides of using oils is that they tend to take a long time to dry, and if you top coat too early over an oil finish, your top coat is not going to stick or it's going to cause problems with polyurethane or, or whatever you choose to top coat the uh, surface with. So one way to get around that is that you use a product called Danish oil. Danish oil is a mixture of a natural oil and some type of a resin like a polyurethane with some a thinner added to it and what that does is it kind of gives you all the benefits of using a natural oil um, but also gives you the benefit of allowing it to dry faster so you can um, add more coats in a shorter period of time or you can put your top coats on without having the oil interfere with the top coat. My biggest problem with Danish oil is that it tends to be expensive. However, there is a workaround to that because you can make your own Danish oil using three simple ingredients. What you'll need to do first is go to your local home store and grab yourself um, an empty paint can. Uh, these are relatively cheap and they're nice to have and you can reuse them. You can just clean them out and use them as long as you take care of the can. <clears throat> and then you go and you buy some a quart of boiled linseed oil, a quart of mineral spirits, and a quart of polyurethane. And that's the ratio that you're going to mix these ingredients together um, to make your Danish oil. It's a one to one to one ratio. So it's real easy to remember the cost of these materials, I make three-fourths of a gallon of Danish oil using these three ingredients and it costs less than what it would cost to buy one quart of commercially made Danish oil. So I'm just going to make up a batch here real quick. I just finished off my last batch on some plantation shutters that I made for my home. And so now I have a relatively empty can. Alright, I just finished cleaning out my can. Um, you do not want, if you're reusing can, you do not want to leave old material in here when you mix in the new stuff because if the old material has started to polymerize or something, it may um, shorten the life, the pot life of this. And speaking of pot life, when you mix this together, this can lasted me a good five years. Um, and uh, it performs just as good um, on the last day as it did on the first day. So, so it's uh, pretty straightforward here. You get your uh, mineral spirits. This is a pretty old can of boiled linseed oil. I'm gonna bring out the big guns to open this guy. Finally, the polyurethane. I'm going to stir the polyurethane before I put it in because it tends to separate if it's stored for a long time. That's another benefit of uh, when you mix this Danish oil is that you it will not separate over time. So that I prefer that. Um, polyurethane is kind of frustrated be, frustrating because as you can see it. It, it doesn't solidify, it just separates. And so then you get all this uh, extra, I don't know, the thick polyurethane at the bottom, and it's hard to get it back into solution.
All right, you just mix it together and I mean, it's good to go. So when I finish my product, my projects, my walnut, cherry, alder, anything that's on, a, on the darker side of the wood, I will use one coat of Danish oil and give it 24 hours to dry. And then I usually finish with wiping varnish. Um, that's my preferred way of finishing things. I know people don't prefer varnish or actually it's polyurethane that I use. I know people don't prefer polyurethane because they feel like it gives the, co the, the wood a coating of plastic basically. But in my household with my children, uh, wood, anything made out of wood wouldn't survive um, them or my dogs for that matter. So I'm willing to sacrifice the plasticky feel of a polyurethane top coat um, for the added uh, longevity of the, the things that I, that I make. So that's it. I mean, it's not rocket science. It's just a real simple formula to make a Danish oil that will make your wood projects look beautiful. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, and if you have anything to add to the conversation, if you use a different formula, or if you have had a different experience than I've had with this product, go ahead and start the conversation in the comment section below. I read all comments. Thanks everybody for watching. Once again, my name's Tom. This is Southpaw Workshop. See you next time.